Good ITN family, welcome to the channel. Now, we are launching a fantastic, fantastic initiative. It's called ITN Helping Hands, and this is to help the less privileged members of our local community here. Now guys, every day I drive to the gym, I drive back to home, I see countless people on the streets, you know, not having anything, not having roof over their head, not having basic food to eat. So it's a sad situation. So we as a channel have decided to uh, bring into, you know, the circulation new merchandise and the revenue from this merchandise, 40% of that revenue will go to helping these people with bread, with clothing items, water, whatever their basic needs may be. And we're going to be documenting the process for you guys to see. So go and click on over to our merch store. It is our new Helping Hands merchandise series that is on our listing there. 40% of those funds will go towards helping this privilege. You can make a difference in those people's lives, guys. So click over to the first link. And this is together with the proceeds of our original merchandise will also go towards uh, helping less privileged people. So 40% of that revenue going to help less privileged people. I'd like to encourage you to click the first link in the description and you can ha help us help a lending hand. Let's go. All right, guys, so today we're going to be checking out Ren with Dear God. Now, Ren, probably one of the most creative artists I've checked out thus far. Um, if you guys are in search of some motivation to help you develop your life, I've linked my own personal free ebook down below in the description. So if you want to, you can go and check that out and go and give it a read. Uh, it's not a very long book. It's about, I would say it's about, what's it, 35 to 40 pages. Go and check that out. Let me know if it helped you or not, but completely free to access. And talking about motivation, that is exactly the type of content that I post on the second YouTube channel. So go and check out that channel. It's, there's really a lot of useful videos on there, a lot of useful videos on productivity, a lot of useful videos on discipline, uh, things like that. If you're interested in improving your life in that aspect, go and check out that channel for sure and leave a subscribe there. I do appreciate you tuning in. Let's dive straight. Hello. Uh, it's Ren. I don't really know how to start this letter. Oh, fuck it. <clears throat> Let's go. Is this life really what it seems? Cause lately I've been in this place between awake and dreams. I know I only reach out to you when I'm feeling blue. I promise I'm not using you. I'm just confused. I've got some questions I would like some answers to. Like Bruh. Rain is literally he's literally dive though he's he's dived into my mind right now and he said exactly how I'm feeling right now. To be completely honest. I'm feeling blue. I promise I'm not using you. I'm just confused. I've got some questions I would like some answers to. Like, is there meaning to this state of short existence? My existential thoughts show hope there are because I'm resistant. Yeah. Thinking that there won't be something better in the distance. And God, is there an afterlife where pain is non existent? Dis if you're up there, God, do you sit upon a throne? Or are you a humble soul wearing sandals and tattered clothes? Do you mingle with the people like an equal then on Sundays? Just kick back and chill and put your feet, feet up. up. Yeah. Did I really choose this life that I'm living now? Will my sins be forgiven if I speak them out? Ah, did I really choose this life that I'm living now? The question we've yet to answer. Humanity cannot answer that question. And I will, and will my sins be forgiven if I speak them out? Another question that we probably don't know the answer to. I won't lie to you, God, if there is a heaven. I really hope I get there, because for real it sounds, sounds like, like heaven. heaven. Ooh, ooh. Wow. Past the line. I just let go. Searching for profits, my faith it is paper thin. Yeah. So many questions in my mind. They replay like an echo. They never stop my messiah yeah. is porcelain. Why do people kill each other in your name? Is it really what you want or have we lost our way? Cause it seems like religion can cause division or people living in prisons of moral mm. values that given. Facts. What is right and what is wrong. Facts. Division Whoa. or people living Given in presence of moral values they're given because we know that these very strict moral values often constrict you know your way of life you do this you can't do that so it's like you're living in a moral prison because it seems like religion can cause the vision right we have all these major spiritual religions each one with their own belief and you know they it seems like they can't respect each other's belief because there's conflict we see it in a real world it happens 
written in prisons of moral values that given what is right and what is wrong am i a sinner if i don't comply with everything that moses said or is that dumb and why do people these guys hatred in your name homophobia a history of violent wars and causing pain yeah priests in the tower stacking riches yeah burnt at the stakes called witches facts in the name of god allah zeus jesus people claiming lives justified by your allegiance i think it's more complex than good versus evil i think that there's both darkness and light inside people very true i think it's more complex than good versus evil i think that there's both darkness and light inside people through different eyes a man called a terrorist could be a freedom fighter if he's fighting for the side you're with different eyes a man called a terrorist could be a freedom fighter if he's fighting for the side you're with we view them as terrorists the people on their side view them as freedom fighters fighting for the freedom all about perspective i guess reading past the lines i just let go searching for profits my faith it is paper thin yep. so many questions in my mind they replay like an echo they never stop my messiah is porcelain so is it ignorant to claim that we know what you want and if i fast for the sabbath is that what you want or is mm. tradition just superstition religion the human vision just crafted out of people's, people's ambition, ambition. Mm. and you a girl that lost a baby before it was born what's the purpose of that god what is it for yeah. why did my best friends die before i hit 25 is it because there is something better in the afterlife God, wow. I've been feeling suicidal lately. Mental health is worsening. It feels like it might break me. If you're watching, you know that I've been strong. But God, how much longer do I have to hold on? Please just give me some solace. So that I know you've got my back. Please just give me some relief. God, is that too much to ask? Bruh. Man. This might be hitting too hard, bro. Please just give me some solace. So that I know you've got my back. Please just give me some relief. God, is that too much to ask? Yeah. Man. Wow. Bro, I feel like I kinda I, I kinda needed to hear this today. If 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 you feel like you needed to hear this message today, please I don't, leave a I don't know, leave a leave a what what should we do? What should we do in the comment section? Leave a yes down below in the comment section. If you feel like you needed this today, leave it down below in the comment section because uh, this is a powerful message. Hit home <laughs> a bit too much, perhaps. But guys, I appreciate you watching this with me. Uh, this is why I appreciate Rain, man. I appreciate the messages that he gives. I appreciate the motivation that he gives. And also the straight, pure facts that he speaks. Is is Like I said, it hits home. Let me know if um, that motivational ebook that I mentioned helped you or not. It's free down below in the comments uh, in the description. I'll be seeing you in the next video.